Victor. I'm uh, a social media strategist at uh, Victor Wagelaar Cross Media Marketing Communication. I also run my own blog, ChristianVictor.com. As you see here, some contact details. Uh, if you want to get in touch, that's me actually. So, uh, there's a new social network in the neighborhood called Social. It's by Microsoft. Um, on this, uh, so they will also be active in the social field right now. Um, it has actually been launched a couple of days ago after being tested for a couple of months by uh, some universities. Um, it's actually very easy. You type in so.cl, you pronounce it social, and then you can create an account using a Windows Live or Facebook account you already own. So um, I've already done this, so I will use the Facebook login. By clicking there, I have to enter my details there, of course. And then you will see that social will lock me in. And there we go. So, um, the first glance what you see is that there are some uh, uh, features that stand out. Uh, for example, the search box. This is actually a social search network. Uh, you will see your own profile here uh, with notifications. So when you have received a new notification, this square here will turn orange, giving a number of new notifications. And you can see uh, if people have liked your post or if they have reacted to it or uh, if they followed you. You can see your name, some settings here. But what makes this uh, network stand out is actually the social search feature. So um, the search box asks the question, what are you interested in? This is very important. This is not like a normal search. Don't go typing complete sentences here. Just enter one or two words. For example, uh, I'm a big Formula One fan, so the Monaco GP is coming up. So I will type Monaco as an interest. And you will see that it will return some search results. Um, what's also uh, standing out here is that my status update window, on which I will come back later, is always at the top when I do a search because this is all about sharing. You want to share your results with other social users. So, and what also uh, stands out is that um, it will give back um, primarily images. So this is a little bit like uh, Pinterest actually because every image is a link to a website. So um, when you start sharing, um, you will uh, see that they will appear in my status post there. And you can actually make a small collage of pictures if you want to. You can tag them with uh, well, kind of the same like hashtags. So we'll get back to that later. So I will uh, type, uh, I will tag them Formula One and I will tag Monaco. So, and then you will see that they will appear here. And of course, I can type a message, nice pictures from Monaco. I can use hashtags just like in Twitter. Um, they have a kind of uh, extra feature. We'll get back to that later. So, and now I would be able to post this right now, but I have already posted this earlier, so I won't. But it's very easy, just press done and then it's okay. You have shared it with your network of uh, followers. So, um, as I told you, the, um, the interest part is actually very interesting. Um, because when you search for it here, it will appear in the menu on the left side. You will see the latest interest you have used. And um, for example, when I go to Formula One, you will see that there are more people that have posted things in Formula One using the tag Formula One or tagging it here. So you see a lot of posts here about the Monaco GP, surprise, surprise. And you see that uh, there are actually also some people that have engaged these items. So um, when you see something you like, uh, you can like it just like in Facebook by pressing this button here. You can comment it, you can tag it, and you can reshare it to your own network, or you can rifle it, which kind of I don't like it. And I, I really like that feature actually. Um, 
So, and then you have, you see that I've used some hashtags earlier in an earlier post. What's nice about this is that these hashtags won't only uh, look uh, for similar topics inside the social network, but also will uh, search br uh, a wider range. So it will also go search on www on the World Wide Web um, to return uh, uh, topics that have the similar um, uh, features. Okay, um, that's a little bit about uh, the interests. Um, as you see, there also uh, we'll click another one, for example, Tech, which already quite highly engaged with 16,000 followers. You can see the most active people, you can follow them immediately, you can see what has been posted recently or what has been popular in this uh, tech um, uh, interest. So you see some nice posts here, you see actually it's quite high, high engagement on some posts already, which is quite surprising for young networks. Um, but that's very interesting. So um, then you have, I will go a little bit to the left side here, you have the explore button, uh, which is just a way of browsing through some interests. I'm not quite sure how uh, Microsoft uh, Social decides which topics to put here or which interests to put here, but it's interesting. You can just click on an interest you have and you will get some results back uh, related to that interest. And you, of course, can uh, reshare that again then. Okay. Um, so, for example, when you search for something that you rather not share with other people, there has been an option built in for this. So, um, what you want to do is, for example, this is my hometown, and um, I'm really not very interested that other people sh can see that, so I will just click the globe. The globe means you share everything. When you put it to the lock, it will mean it's private. See one other icon here. Um, it's your status update icon. You can just type a message here uh, and uh, click that it's a status and post it and select if it's public or private again. And then you will share it to the world. So actually the search box is not only a search box, it's also a quick status update box. But I really like that it comes back on top of every page actually. So a little bit to what's on the left side here. You can see the feed. The feed is of course everything you post or your friends post or topics uh, of, uh, or people post within topics you are interested in. So uh, this is from everyone I follow. Oh, sorry, this is from everyone. Uh, this is from people I follow. So this, these are the, the posts by people that I follow. Uh, these are uh, posts related to my interests. I can see conversations. So when I'm in a conversation with someone and I didn't get a response yet, I can see it there. And um, here's my post, so I can uh, uh, look back at the posts I've made myself. And of course, I can see in one glance if people have uh, reacted to them. So uh, then we have uh, another interesting feature, which I really like, um, is the uh, video party. Um, a video party is actually kind of a playlist you and your friends can um, uh, make together. And um, you can watch these videos together, which is fun because you can uh, have a, a discussion about what you're viewing together. Uh, for example, the epic movie trailers. Um, I'm quite a film buff, so I can uh, go there. And uh, you see that there's a playlist down here. Uh, people can add that to there, you can edit yourself. And um, let me mute the movie for a moment. Um, so you can edit yourself, but you can also chat with other users or you can invite other users and you can see who's joining this party. I really like this. Uh, for example, in business to business, this could, this could be uh, an instruction video about a new technology or whatever, and you can discuss with your colleagues what they think about it. Okay. Let's go back um, and uh, go to the invite friends button. Of course, a social network is never fun when you're all alone. So you can invite friends via Facebook or via email. Just enter the email address here. Um, what's also very easy is to share other content um, on the web to social. Um, this is kind of a little bit, I think they stole it a little bit from uh, Pinterest actually. 
but it works, so <laughs> I don't really care. It works. So uh, here we go. You have a button uh, here on the right side called Share to Social. You can just drag and drop it to your browser there. As you see, I've already done it, so I will put it back where it came from. But when I go to a website, for example, my own blog, um, you will see that there are a lot of images on here. And I want to share my blog with other people on social. So as you will see that um, social will, it's kind of like the same uh, on Pinterest, they will um, capture some images from the website and I can reshare them to my network. Just like I showed before, I can select one or more uh, images and that will be put into my post here. I can take it again, comment on it, and share it uh, publicly or not publicly, whatever. Okay, so um, do I think that this is a winner? I don't know yet. It's, uh, it's too early to tell. But um, the feature is clean. Uh, the layout is clean. It's, it's intuitive. I've actually been using the network only for a couple of hours, and I'm quite easily finding my way around it. I like the fact that it's already engaging quite okay. Um, so I think that there is a serious player in the market right now, uh, especially because um, the social search feature is very interesting. I, I really like it uh, that you can share these posts in a, in a fun way and an effective way with your friends. So um, I hope to connect with you on social if you want to find me. My, uh, my URL is uh, social and you just uh, search for Christian Victor like uh, typed here and we can connect. Also, you can connect uh, uh, on other social networks by uh, using one of uh, these uh, 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 channels, Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever. Uh, I'm here for you. Uh, thank you and um, I hope to see you in my next post. Bye-bye. Um,